Well, a very good evening to you and welcome to one of my beer reviews. Right, um, I'm in Berlin at the moment, uh, just on the long weekend with some relatives of mine. And uh, I'm currently in my hotel and um, I had a look in the mini bar and uh, I found this in it. It's uh, Berliner Pilsner, which is actually complimentary. Basically, it said in a little piece of paper, uh, whatever's in the mini bar, help yourself too. I thought, well, thank you very much. I thought, well, seeing as a free beer, I thought I might as well review it. Never had it before, and I've done a little bit of research on it, and uh, the brewery is pretty old. Well, it's very old, actually. It goes back to 1902. And the Berliner Pilsner is a classic beer that they've brewed pretty much since they started production. Uh, it's 5%, and um, obviously it's a German Pilsner-style lager. And uh, the brewery, yeah, they started up as a... I've done a bit of research. They started as a very small brewery with a, like, a sort of small beer garden attached to it, as I said, in 1902. And um, it's had a bit of a checkered, a checkered history, though, because um, in 1969 it was nationalised by East Germany. And basically, it became owned by the East German state. And uh, when German reunif reunification came in 1990, then uh, basically the company uh, then became independently owned again. So um, it's been around a long time, and um, it's been through some interesting times in history. It really has. And um, yeah, so I've never had it before. No idea what this is like. Um, but seeing as it was a freebie in the mini bar, I thought, well, I might as well give it a go. So let's get it open. Okay. Right, not a lot going on there. Not much smoke coming off the top, but that's fine. It's a nice little glass also, which I found um, in my hotel room as well. So, yeah, very good. Anyway, let's get it in the glass. Okay. That's pouring with a little bit of carbonation. Not too much going on. Okay, we'll stop there. Okay, yeah, we've got a one finger head going on. Well, but maybe a two finger head going on there, actually. Uh, yeah, nice carbonation. You can see those bubbles. Yeah, pretty good stuff. And um, yeah, it looks the right colour. Looks for a German Pilsner. That's spot on, a nice yellow colour. And um, yeah, so far so good. Let's go with the nose. Mm. Yeah, you, it's quite a nice aroma too. You've got this traditional sort of lager malts which you're getting from it. Which you would get from a pilsner. Yeah, not much else going on really. It's just really sort of a malty, sort of lagery sort of smell, which is absolutely spot on for a pilsner. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's go in with the taste. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice beer. Yeah, that's really refreshing. Actually, it's got a lovely flavour to it. Very smooth as well, really, really smooth. There's no bitterness at all, which you sometimes get from lagers. Got a sharp bitter taste sometimes. No, none of that going on whatsoever. Mmm, that's really nice. Um, yeah, that's it's just come out of the fridge from the mini bar, and it's just the right temperature for a lager. It's chilled. It's lovely. Yeah, that is a great beer for a summer's day. That is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, some people think that I'm, I've, in the past I've been anti-lager. Well, occasionally I have been, uh, but um, I always appreciate a really good, well-made lager, and that's a proper German Pilsner, and that's an extremely good example of one. Really, really good. Um, yeah, the Berliner Pilsner, which is brewed here in Berlin. As I stated, uh, this is a 330ml bottle, uh, it's coming in at 5%. Would I drink it again? Yeah, absolutely I would, yeah. It's really, really nice. It's a lovely example of a German Pilsner. So, what would I give it out of 10? Well, guys, for me, I think it's an 8. It's an 8 out of 10 beer. It's really, really good stuff. And, um, yeah, if you get your hands on a bottle, um, go for it. Um, I, think you, I think you'll be pleased with it. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, thank you very much for listening, and all the best. Cheers, goodbye.